Okay, so next question is, in simple terms, uh, what is privacy threat modeling and why is it important? Uh, okay, that, that's a great start, actually. I want to take that to the next level and look at it from the organizational perspective. So basically, threat modeling, uh, again, like Kim said, it's about finding th things that can go wrong and that can have a harmful uh, impact or outcome for your software system or your organization. And all that is uh, provides a valuable input to risk assessment and risk management. And risk is, or well, it should be, it absolutely should be a central concept in any organization's realities when it comes to security. Because there are millions of things that can go wrong and risk and risk score will help you figure out, okay, which of these am I gonna focus on? And uh, just to give a small analogy in human language for people who don't, who, to, to, for people to give the chance to relate a little bit more, Last week, I was at the OWASP SAM summit, uh, which was in Boston, and my flight was from Amsterdam. And I live in Leuven, uh, which is about two hours driving and three hours by public transportation to get there. And obviously, like everybody, uh, any human being, uh, I don't like missing my flights. And I had basically two options to, to get there. One was driving. And in order to miss my flight, or actually not to miss my flight, uh, what I... I Situations that could have led me missing my flight are obviously my car breaking down or running out of fuel uh, or having a flat tire. And on the other side, also traffic jams. Morning traffic is, is killing in Belgium and the Netherlands, uh, which means that I had to take to make sure that I leave uh, with some mar extra hour of margin, for instance, and make sure that my car has fuel and my car is regularly maintained. So breaking down was not really uh, a big concern. Uh, the other uh, possibility was taking, taking the public transportation, uh, which is uh, taking a bus to the Leuven station, then taking a train to Antwerp, and then taking a train to Amsterdam. And given that cha those chain of things, I had to think like, okay, which bus should I take? It was an early morning flight, by the way. So which bus should I take to make sure that I make the train? And then ideally, you want to take a bus, you want to have a one bus of uh, margin, so you don't take the bus that makes you to the train, you take the bus before that. Uh, and then, unfortunately, the train from Leuven to Antwerp was the first train, so there was no margin there. But then, if I would miss that train, or if that train was delayed, uh, the train to Amsterdam, there was a second train which would give me enough time just to make it uh, with some comfortable margin for the flight. And this is what I'm telling you now is, is threat modeling in, in real life. Basically, everybody threat models all the time, probably. Well, yeah. ideally, you should, you should threat model every time you're taking a, a flight, make sure that you don't miss it. Yeah, yeah. So we do it every day anyways, but without really realizing we're thinking it through. So it makes so much sense to also do that explicitly when we're building systems, when we're building products, to think about the security and the privacy stuff that can go wrong as well. Yeah. So did you end up taking the bus and the train? Or the I took car? the bus and the train, yeah. Okay. And yeah. I was way before, before <laughs> the flight in, uh, there. So, yeah. yeah well, I could have taken like three trains later and still make it. <laughs> yeah, but still, better safe than sorry. So it's done. Yeah. <laughs>